Hey guys, welcome back. On today's session, we are going to be carrying on with the strategy that we started yesterday, where on the left side we have the Martingale system, and on the right side we have the an auto cash out of 20x. Only this time, the auto cash out is going to be uh, 10x, because I realized yesterday that it was taking too long for us to hit that 20. So hopefully with the 10x, we can hit it maybe a couple of times, and with that we can be able to hit our 10k profit target. And uh, yeah, I mean to 10k profit target sooner because yesterday I had to give up because it was just taking ages. Actually, I didn't even have to double that amount. I've doubled on the Martingale system, I didn't have to double. Remember, on the left side, we just have to double when we hit a loss. So let's reset this back to 500. I was not supposed to double it there. I'm just lucky I didn't lose. And then on the right side, we are just going to bet plane at 250 over and over again so now we can double now that we have lost on the left side only remember that because on the left side that's why we are using the martingale system there we go that was quick okay now we doubled 2000 on the right side it remains at 250 so remember as long as on the left side we are betting perfect as long as on the left side we are betting a larger amount a base a larger base amount which is 500 compared to the 250 on the right we are going to be constantly ideally mm, ideally profitable let's go in again yeah we are going to be profitable throughout the session as long as the martingale system we don't get consecutive losses because given that I've started with the large balance given that I've started with the large balance as long as we, we are not hit with like six or seven consecutive losses because those are going to finish me for sure otherwise we are going just to creep up slowly and slowly but the main aim for this session is to hit the 10x on the right side the Martingale system on the left side is just there just to make sure that our account is not going below zero. It's looking good. Just go all the way. That's a seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Mm hmm. 9.8 thank you very much for that that was purely a waste of time 9 point okay let's go in again so the good thing is that at least our account is still profitable so far that's the bright side of things i guess nine point such a waste of time we might actually go all the way with this one seven please don't do me dirty again ten there we go now that gives a nice boost to our balance now if we get that like three, four more times, we shall hit our target. Let's see, the Martingale is still doing its thing to make sure that our profitability stays the same. Again. There we go. We just need this other one to go all the way. Five. <laughs> okay. We are back in. Actually. The results here are so beautiful. I was 
Mm. Just when I was about to start talking about betting 10k. Anyway, I wanted to say for those few rounds, if I was betting something like 5k, that could have been so beautiful because those are several nice results right there. There we go again. Our balance is up to 54,000. I want it to hit 60. So, okay, let's double the martingale. It's up to 1,000. Go in and 250 on the other end. So as I said it yesterday, you just have to be careful that you don't up, end up doubling on the wrong amount. Now we can double this to 2,000. The other one remains at 250. So just be careful because if you double on the wrong amount, you can just mess up the entire session. And you find yourself now working with negative figures, which is something that I absolutely hate. 1.92, surely. Okay, let's go in with 4,000. As I was saying, you might end up now. Let's double this to 8,000 now. Hmm. Now this is where you start getting numbers when it comes to the Martingale system. Because if I get like three more losses, perfect. And then we are back. Now we reset back to 500. There we go. So as I was saying, I just hate any session where I'm working with negative figures for the most part. I find it too tedious. Because assuming right now I didn't have the Martingale system at all right here, and I'm just working with the 250 out of cash out, I, I believe I'd still be working with the negative figures right here. But now the Martingale system is ensuring that we don't go into the negative at any point. The only time you're going, go all the way. That's the second nine. Okay, let's double this. What I was saying is the only time you're working with the negative figure is uh, when you're about to recover on the martingale side. Yeah, let's double again to 2,000. And as soon as we recover, you're back to positive. I've hit two nines. Those two nines are... Perfect. Now you can reset this back to 500. Our balance is still 54. There we go. So with every win, we are making 250 shillings. With every win, where we hit on the martingale and we lose on the other end, we are making half, which is 250. There we go in again. So if you are aiming to make like a thousand, you could have closed. Perfect. Perfect. Now our balance is up to 57. We are getting closer to our target of 10,000 in profit. And of course that happens, but let's double this. Let's see what happens here. But you are so close. I like that. By yesterday, by it took me so long to even get to perfect. You can reset. It took me so long to get to even seven thousand in profit. And that's why I gave up yesterday so early because 
Actually, it was not early. I just gave up because the session was just taking too long. But I was still profitable on the bright side. It's not like I gave up and I had losses. I still made some, some money. Let's go. 2x. There we go. Yes, so close. We just need to hit it like two more times and we are done. Going again. This game is quite sounding. But as I said, for me, as long as I have an auto cash out, let's reset this to 500. As long as I have an auto cash out, I tend to be a bit more relaxed, regardless of where the auto cash out is. Like right now, I have two one is two, one is ten. As long as it's an auto cash out that's there, I always feel significantly more relaxed. Okay, let's double this. compared to trying to time when to exit. Hmm. Let's double it again. The balance is down to 55. <laughs> Let's double it yet again. Now by the time I get to this one, I'm betting 4,000 on Martin Kill. Now, I'm, now we're going to 8,000. Now this is where I start getting nervous. Because now the next bet has to be 16,000. And if I lose the next bet of 16,000, that's it. I'm done. Because the maximum I can put down is... Actually, I can go in again. After 16, I can put down for 30. Perfect. I don't even have to worry about that. Let's go to that just go all the way go all the way I was feeling that one because even for this one I'm starting to get a bit tired we need that 10k soon let's see let's see let's see okay Let's go all the way. Of course not. This session is quite... <laughs> this session is quite something. Indeed, someone is not in a rush. But regardless of whether it needs someone who is not in a rush, I still prefer it compared to the parole system I was looking at last week. That one was just... The entire session you're working with negatives. Like, what's the point of that? Perfect. It's just an entire session of working nervously. Hmm. Let's see. Perfect. So I hate any anywhere where I have to work with negative values. It's just it's just not for me. Because it makes you nervous and it makes you even want to cash out too early. And now I'm afraid of being perfect. Nine five. Actually I'm not going to bet on this other one because I just need five hundred. Let me just bet on this other side. Or I just go in on both. This one is going to be my final one. Because I feel like... Oh. 
9.7 why not I'm not playing again 9750 is as close as we can get to 10k I think I don't want to waste any more time here 250 is not much I'll make that tomorrow <laughs> I'm tired of getting teased with nine points let's just stop there for now thanks for watching I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Cheers.